So uh, then we're going to do uh, some string operations in a REPL, and then we're going to do a scanner and a frog in another REPL. So 2.6, the string class. Strings are pieces of text in Java, and we've already been using strings when we were printing things. I also had you say string name equals scan dot next line. You know, we were asking the user for their name. Um, sometimes you have to use something before you understand what it is. But um, anyway, strings are objects or uh, they're a class, a data type reference. It's called reference or object data rather than primitive data. Primitive being int, double, Boolean. Um, so remember, oh, my notes cover <laughs> what I'm doing. I guess it fits because it's what I thought I should do. Uh, we've got primitive variables and object variables. Primitives are ints, doubles, and booleans. Objects are things like the frog class or the scanner class or strings, or when we created student objects or books, you know, or rectangles, circles, all those things are object data. One key attribute of object objects is that they can have methods that control their behavior. You know, we haven't as yet done uh, like int dot something, you know, uh, where we did frog.hop, you know, uh, that's a method on an object. Anyway, you'll see. Um, two ways to create a new string, and we almost always use the top way. I don't know why you would do the bottom way, but you can up top say uh, string slogan equals, and then just put something in quotes, and there you go, you've made a string. You can also say equals new string, and then put the string in there. That's, that's fine. I mean, it looks just like frog f equals new frog, but no, no, I was just making a slogan. It's a great day to be a liger. Uh, string objects are immutable. There's a good word. Uh, I'm making it bold. Um, that means that string methods don't change a string very. So uh, I'll show you, there's a method called two uppercase. So if I put haze in small letters into a variable named, uh, called name and I print name dot two uppercase, it prints my name in uppercase, but it didn't change. It doesn't change the variable. Uh, the variable still just lowercase like I entered it. And in fact, if I have this line name dot two uppercase, that line doesn't hurt anything, but it doesn't do anything. It just for a moment in time makes an uppercase for uh, uppercase version of Hayes, but it throws it away because it you didn't store it anywhere. Uh, that's why I said it still prints Hayes lowercase. Now down here, look what I did. Name equals name dot two uppercase. That replaces what was the name variable with the uppercase version of the name variable. So if you if you were trying to change a string using one of the methods you have to say uh, variable name equals variable name and then the method otherwise you're not changing the variable you're just creating a changed piece of text questions um so we already learned about string concatenation in unit one uh, if you got uh two pieces of text, first and last, and you said full name equals first plus last, that just puts those two things together. I mean, they're strings, you're not adding them like math, but you're, uh, the plus sign between two strings or between a string and a number means put these together and make them a string. So uh, if I made a string called greeting and I said equals ho, I can say greeting plus equals ho, and now it says ho ho. <laughs> and I could say greeting plus equals greeting, and now it says ho 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 ho. Um, so you wouldn't think you could do plus equals with strings, but you can, it's not adding like math. It's just concatenating. Um, and down here, like we were printing in unit one, um, or take out your earbuds, people take out your earbuds during class, please. Um, so string demo equals Hayes plus 19 plus 81. It, it, it's now, now it stores, uh, Hayes 1981. But if I did parentheses around the 19 plus 81, it would it would add that first and then concatenate. So the same rules apply. And we also learned about uh, escape sequences. You remember backslash n, backslash t, backslash backslash, and backslash quote. Those four 
uh, uh, can be uh, stored in a string or printed. This example would have been better if it was uh, string text equals, because uh, then you're like, yeah, it's a new thing. Um, we already did printing like that, but there you go. You can do all that stuff with um, with strings. And then finally, we've got uh, string methods. Uh, and I've already shown you two uppercase. So the U in uppercase is capital and the C is capital. And so if we have a string that's Frankie and I say print uh, that variable dot two uppercase, it prints it out in uppercase. That, that's pretty obvious. Notice you got the open and close parentheses here that uh, are empty. You always, uh, it's always empty um, uh, with these with these methods. To lowercase makes something lowercase. Length dot length gives you a number. It gives you an integer how long the string is. Uh, and spaces count. So um, I should uh, I should do. Uh, this and show you it prints eight because if you're uh, spaces count so sometimes people think oh a space isn't a character but it is it's just a, it's another piece of text okay so today's operation today's method uh, today's REPL is going to have you do uh, some things with strings you're going to I think also do a scanner and then there's a second assignment with a frog uh, scanner REPL so um any questions? Okay.